This is Baker and Molasses at the movies. I'm at Burns Court Cafe outside waiting for Harrison Bender, film program programmer with the Sarasota Film Festival. He saw Joker. I saw Joker. I've been dying to talk about Joker. Uh, I went to the movie with someone who said they were going to talk about Joker, and then they took a left sound. But Harrison is definitely not a second string quarterback. He's a first round draft pick, so I'm waiting for him to get here and he should be here soon. So, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. I guess I have no uh, pitch, but anyway, he should be here soon. All right, so here we are at uh, Burns Court Cafe, well, not cafe, at the theater. A nice serene Sunday morning. The opposite yeah. of the mood of the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's fine. We sort of need calm, calm <laughs> quiet after that. So one thing I wanted to ask you, Harrison, was about Todd Phillips' experience or any preconceived notions you had going in. Uh, you know, I actually tried to avoid uh, this because, like, this was the first film of, like, the season, sort yeah. of, right? right. Uh, I just did air quotes for those listening. <laughs> um, and... Um, so I try. I, I do my best to like avoid, especially like heavily talk about films and things like yeah. that, to avoid any chatter. To try to like you know to not be, you know, let us not not let astray, but to uh, you know have any influence on yeah any color yeah or, things like yeah. that. Um, I think for this movie, it's kind of impossible. It just kind of you know penetrated the the popular culture nexus and um, and and even then, I, I didn't have any. But I will say, um, you know, when the film was announced. Uh, you know, somewhat, you know, lamenting again that that there are, um, you know, possible complex character study movies that are based on comic book characters when they could just be original. Right. Uh, I don't know. I'm definitely on that team. I don't want to bemoan comic book characters and superhero movies and things like that too much because I understand it's just it's part of the zeitgeist. It's like what it is, what it is. Right. But I would I would like a little bit more variety. Yeah, I think. I guess so. so like I, I don't I don't want yeah. that to be my like so that like that was like my very first like initial just like oh here's another one right. sort of you know like really plainly right. They're and, so iconic in yeah. their own little bubble that it's hard to. Yeah, and so like. Make it. Bigger than it was hard not to think of it that way for myself, uh, but I also don't want that to you know color the way that I see you know the the film itself. Although you know I I, I think that's a flaw there too. You kind of have to take the context around it too, right? So yeah. I think. Um, I, how about well, you? I thought Todd Phillips was taking a nice risk. I mean, he's done comedies, mm -hmm. and I actually had read that he said he can't. He doesn't feel like he can do comedies anymore because of our culture, and it's too hard to like get the right. You know, mm. people's senses of humor mm. have really been skewed. Yeah. And so he, I, I don't know, I sort of respected the fact that, okay, let me do something different. Uh, okay, I see, yeah, yeah, And he teamed up like with, through with Scott that. Silver for the screenplay, who wrote The Fighter, which I truly loved. Mm. I loved that movie. So I thought, well, th you know, this the screenplay's got to be at least halfway decent. So I was excited to go in, even though I'm like you, I sort of have never thought of a superhero or comic book movie as sort of a true film film but mm -hmm. i thought let's give it a shot <laughs> yeah i, I don't want to say like i don't want to play that it's not like a true film film just like right. a little bit more variety right i think you right. know like i, I don't know the, the, that's another conversation about the martin scorsese comments that we can have too sure. definitely related <laughs> but you know right. um but yeah i yeah for sure and then Were you um, shocked that it won at venice the uh was it the golden lion yeah, the yeah yeah i was honestly i was shocked Me too. uh i you know, I wasn't expecting something like that that tends to not be in the pedigree. In a way, I think it's... I'm I'm, I'm glad in a way. It kind of keeps everyone on their toes. Like, yeah. So, so that the, 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 there isn't this kind of, like, ivory tower. But that's, right. that's, you know, only part of the issues that sort of face, you know, cinephiles in cinema right now. Right. I think. I think they're a little bit more pressing issues than that. But... Um, yeah, I, I, I was surprised, you know, because now it's part of, you know, uh, an esteemed list of films like Ugetsu and right. Ivan's Childhood and, you know, and, and other movies that are like, okay, so you think, like, you know, like the, the populace in 2019 thought that this was as good as the populace, you know, at that time okay. felt about okay. Ivan's Childhood. I'm like, all right, like, okay. Right. I mean, not seen it. You know, I was like, okay. Yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah, interesting. 
And I'm new to the game as far as like film festivals. I mean, I usually listen to what wins awards, but I don't usually listen to stories around the film festivals. But it's interesting that Venice sort of praised it with this award. Mm -hmm. And yet Toronto, it was I'm not panned, but like people had a lot more criticism. Of right. I, and I, so I, I that was I, interesting. I wonder I, how much of that has to do with the audience. True. You know, and then also the time, too, because if I, if I recall correctly, the Joker premiered at Venice and so there was sort of like an understanding that this is going to be like kind of a big splash because these are worldwide characters you know there's something there's something about you know celebrating that right right um but uh I guess ultimately it was a praise warranted for you yeah yeah true it was yeah I think so okay I mean I think I mean well we'll, we can get into it I mean yeah first of all I I'm and I'm reading into it with my own subjective lens as we all do right 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 I really felt like there were messages in the film that could be considered as important. So for me... <laughs> I love how magnanimous we're both being. <laughs> so for me, I, I was worried it was going to be a meaningless, violent film. And I guess you could Got read it. it like that. Like, mm-hmm. But for me, I saw an anti-gun message in it. And I saw the importance of mental health in our country. I was sort of reading into it, which, again, I, yeah. that's the way I take it. So. No, absolutely. I, I I think it's very deliberate that you're supposed to take these um, uh, th- th- that it taps into a lot of uh, these like important like based messages right now. You know, there's. I a, thought it was provocative enough for me to think we should be doing something. <laughs> yeah, know. well, like it, it, I, I mean, uh, in all instances of you know previous iterations of the Joker, for the most part in live action films, maybe I, f- I think I don't remember if uh, if Tim Burton's Batman. Because, because you, you know, in Tim Burton's Batman, the Joker kills Jack Napier, kills Batman's parents in that one. But I don't know if they ever get into his origin story. Maybe they do. I don't remember. I don't think so. I think this is the first time there's been. Sort of yeah, like- and so like with origin stories, right? There's a kind, there's a sense of like you know empathizing with this character, and and I know that that was the, the you know part of the issue from the start is you know empathizing with a character like this and. You know, and uh, and they're not wrong. I think for uh, addressing like a lot of these issues, that it's also deeply complex. There's a, a lack of you know social services that have been you know slowly eroded over time. Right. Uh, you know these these subtle fixtures uh, about um, about how that relates to treatment of mental health. Right. Um, you know, it, it it definitely paints a portrait that 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 the the consequences of all of these things are complicated and don't have a one-line answer that I think a lot of politicians and people in general just seem to have about, you know, violence in our society and right. why we are the way they, that we are, right. air quotes again. Right, right. <laughs> um, right, so uh, I give it, like, tons of credit for that, uh, for sure. Yeah. Um, and it's a really beautiful movie, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I mean, I think the one common refrain, regardless about how you feel about the film, is, um, uh, except for Stephanie as a Sherrick, um, was that... Uh, that you know, Yaquin's performance was like you know unreal, unbelievable. You know, his you know, physical, part for the course, right? His physicality. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was so thin. First of all, I mean, to his sickly proportions, but the way he moved his body in those dance numbers, it was almost like I mm-hmm. sort of said Fred Astaire mixed with J- Justin Timberlake. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, like it was. I I really found that choreography or whatever he did with his, his body was amazing. Yeah. That manifested itself in the character. Definitely. Like, I, I love how um, expressive, like, the film was. Like, there's, mm-hmm. there's a... Um, I think one of the things that actually... So, I, I ultimately, uh, while, while I respected it a great deal, like, ultimately didn't like it for a variety of reasons. But I think one of them, too, was that there's there are these kind of, like, um, expressionist... Like, it's a, it's a psychologically, like... Psychological realism is, like, mm-hmm. so, so pervasive in the film. Right. There's also these, like expressionistic moments like uh you know the uh the dancing and the things like that and it it was supposed to i I think it's supposed to meld with like you sort of empathizing with the psyche and things like that but it just doesn't click for me personally yeah um i can see that where do you think it was sort of mocking the seriousness of the issue i think i think so too well it's not even so much that i was mocking as i think and here's ultimately like my problem with it despite the fact that um i think that it's a you know uh, a, a, like a, a really well crafted film and and very consistent and things like that uh is just that uh it isn't as sophisticated i think as i'd like it to be mm-hmm. like i think that th- i think that we all sort of knew 
uh, for a movie that's so much that is so deliberately about how how we are now and like and how we can feel now, right? Because I think you know, no one no one is like the Joker, right? But I think everyone can sort of feel like the Joker being kicked down, right, and like right. things like that, right? Right. Um, I think that that we all sort of like sort of know. We, I guess, there are national conversations that are going about to contradict what I'm about to say. But uh, to me, it seems um, not sophisticated to just introduce the ideas that that it's all that it's all these complicated things, uh, which is which is what I give it credit for. But I wanted to go a little bit further. Mm-hmm. And not just showing that, but also kind of explaining it. I got you. You know I, what I mean? I totally agree with you. And it's almost like, and you just hit it on the head, I think. I think it's like a collage of all these different parts. And yet there's no... Yeah. You know, there's no defining through line, you know? I respect it for that reason yeah. very much. Yeah. But I also kind of wish it was like, okay, well, we kind of do that. Right. You know? Like, that's how we're all feeling. Right. So, like, like where's like where's the other, you know? But at the same time, you know, like, I, I think now is not the time for, or maybe not now is not the time for, because it's not, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I should say something like that, but I think that there's a, a lot of polemical films that are not nuanced that, are a polemical art really that's not right. nuanced that that we uh you know are, are kind of reckoning with right um now and i think the joker is one of them and uh and i i, I kind of just wish that it was a bit more uh you know it, it, it's it's more you know it's very much like the joker right it's like here i am well, yes, you know yes. right and like, about, an like r- rather than you know okay. like like rather than self-inquisitive and things like that because i think that even people are a lot more complex than than yeah. the joker himself right yeah. i think people are like they they, they they tend to be more self-critical right. and they tend to be like more confused and they tend to be you know, and things like that. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I, think I, 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 I feel very mixed on it, but otherwise, but but in general, yeah. it just did, did not click with me. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was a great attempt, uh, especially with all the different illusions, like the modern times with Charlie yeah. Chaplin and oh King yeah, comedy definitely. with De Niro, who's the Johnny Carson character. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I definitely was on the ride. Like I never was predicting what was going to happen next. You know, I thought he was well. well, well you know, I told people in my <laughs> promo, if you're going to listen to this, there's spoilers. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Like, I, I assumed he was going to kill himself, but then he did not, mm-hmm. you know. And so I was excited that it took a turn that I didn't expect, even though, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, okay, let's see where this is going. I was definitely suspense. Yeah. Was suspenseful. And, and, and I think that there's, all, there's a lot of counter arguments, I think, to, <laughs> to what... To what uh, our feelings are, right. you know, now because I'm I'm thinking about other scenes of the movie too, where it's like, you know, you could make a statement for that, and then, but I would be like, well, I wanted more of that, right? right. You know, like is is sort of how I feel about it. But um, I'll tell you a couple yeah. things I liked and a couple things I did not like specifically. Yeah, I'll do the positives first. I love the scene where he was talking to the detectives, and then he goes into the hospital and, and hits the wall, the glass. Mm. I mean, it was so sad. Like, he had almost had sort of a victory, like, telling these two cops, bug off. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then he runs into this glass wall. It was just like, or glass, you know, it was a glass door that he didn't realize was a door. Right. You know, he thought it was open. That was just so heartbreaking and, like, shockingly, like, oh, this poor guy. You know what I mean? Not that, I'm not sympathizing with a murder, but just. No, no, no. So that personal moment where he just, you know, his mother's been a horrible person to him he finds out and yeah you i think that's also another thing that that remained elusive for me a bit is that the um you know the the sort of ambiguity uh for you know how we're supposed to read you know his parentage and and how the way that he is uh i think is true to real life in in some respects but also um doesn't really is is not really, um, I don't know, I, I, I think in this movie it's sort of like a cheap tactic because, yeah. uh, you know, it, it's, it could embrace that it, that it's both, right? Like, that like like yeah. that we don't know, you know what I mean? And yeah, in the same um, sense, I don't want, yeah, you're right, yeah. because I don't want it to be, I would, like, I don't think he, he had any right to do any of the violent things he did. I mean, right. besides self-defense. But he, even then he went to an extreme, obviously. But like, I, that bothered me with his mother in the hospital when 
when he kills her. I mean, that was just like unforgivable. You know what I mean? I don't care if she's a monster. You don't do. You know what I mean? Oh right. Like that sort of something in me broke at that point in the movie. Like no.